What's going on guys, your boy Fat Boy Shrink. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Fat Boy Shrink TV. And this show is called Coach's Corner, guys. This is a segment where I will be, will be reviewing and explaining boxing equipment, both for the coach and also for the students as well too. So the number one question that I get asked the most on a daily basis that is not technique related is how do I wrap my hands? First off, there are so many different ways to wrap your hands. Boxing guys might, you know, wrap a little bit differently versus Muay Thai guys and vice versa. But I feel like this version is the most simplest to learn. My way is not the end all say all. This is just what I prefer and what I found that my students tend to easily understand, okay? So I already have this rolled up where the thumb loop is already shown here, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the thumb loop here, put it on my thumb, and I'm gonna go around the wrist three times. This is just a general rule of thumb, depending on how thick your wrist is, you might wanna go less or a little bit more, but I think generally three is the basis. Now once I'm done three times over the wrist, I'm gonna make a cross here, okay? Like such, okay? Now I'm gonna go over the knuckles three times. It's very important that you go right over the middle of the knuckles so that it's actually covering it. So a little bit over the knuckles and a little bit under the knuckles, like such. And you really wanna make sure that your fingers are spread out so that when you're done wrapping your hands, it's not gonna be super, super tight, okay? Have them spread out like such. Go over the knuckles three times. Here we go, guys, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one more cross, okay? So basically what I did was I made an X pattern, okay? It's gonna be a recurring theme. So from here, I'm gonna go under the wrist and I'm gonna go over the thumb twice, okay? Like such, under the thumb, over the wrist, okay? I'm gonna come under and over one more time. So over the thumb, under and over the wrist, one more time guys, okay? So let's quickly review. We did three around the wrist, we did three around the knuckles, okay? We did two around the thumbs, guys, okay? So I'm gonna come back over the hand, okay? This is very important, so we have, we have three finger holes here. So I'm gonna go here, here, and here. That's three, okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna make an X pattern for each, okay? So here's one cross here. One of the most common mistakes people do is they'll pull here and then they will not go through the index and the thumb, rather they will go under and over the wrist. What this does is it blocks my palm, okay? It prevents me from having a grip bar. So don't do that. We wanna make sure that we go between the index and the thumb, okay? And we are going to make an X. Got it? See, now my palm is open. Now we just re rinse and repeat for the other two fingers, we're gonna go through this one. Good, okay. Again, go to the between the thumb and the index. Okay, and we're gonna go under the wrist and back over the top of the hand. We're gonna make a cross here. Go through here one more time. Good. It's very important that you do not yank on this, right? If you do that, your wrap's gonna be super tight and it's gonna feel like a thong. Not that I wear thongs, but you get the point, guys. So you just wanna just gently tug just to where it's a little taut, guys. So now that we've done that, okay, I'm gonna go under the wrist one more time, make one more cross. This portion is actually not necessary. I just don't like this portion being exposed like this. I just like everything to look a little neat. So I'm gonna go over the hand and then I'm gonna go under the palm one more time. And I'm just gonna come over and just, I'm just gonna cover this up. It's really just an aesthetic thing, it's just personal preference, okay? Now we're gonna go through here one more time. And once we get to this portion, open and close, open and close. So I wanna make sure you it's not too tight before you finish wrapping your hands, okay? Once we do that, the rest is gonna go up. The rest is gonna go over the wrist, guys. I know some people would just go straight over like this, which is cool too, but I personally prefer an X pattern, like such, okay, here. It just seems to protect my hands a little bit better. 
Good. And we're going to Velcro this right here. Very last part, guys. Okay. What I prefer is to have a very distinct grip bar, okay? And what I mean by that is I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to pull here, okay? Like such. When I pull here, I get a really clear spacing here, which allows me to grip when I punch. I want to take my fingers and just slightly tuck that in. And bam, right? Now I can make a real nice fist. Boom. Good. Bop. So I hope that helps, guys. I know that was a bit of a long-winded explanation, but I just wanted to cover every basis of questions I get asked all the time about the nuances. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment below. If I have offered you value in this video, please give me a like, a subscribe, and if you want to be the first one to be notified of new videos that I drop, you know, just hit that notification bell. Until next time, peace out, guys. Boom!